some doodles. J-Dog back dance some more goddamn questions. Questions we're going over today. First, I got four order questions, goddamn. So we'll knock these out first to go to the next video of mine. First one's from Philip Eisenhower. J-Dog, I'd like a deicide sticker, brah, brah. Got you covered, bro town. For the YouTube show, I want to know what you think of the current Morbid Angel set list, question mark. I have never seen their set list, what they're doing, so I couldn't tell you unless you enlighten me. I love Morbid Angel and even all, all albums, except Elude. Yeah, that's understandable. But not playing any alters or, or formulas is a little shitty. I mean, dude, you answered your own question. No Ultras of Madness, the best album in the catalog. You're not playing any songs. That tells me, like, that, that 100% tells me I'm not going. Like, like why, would I, why would I go to that? I mean, honestly, just on principle, I could see not playing any song off formulas. I mean, personally, I would. To me, if you're a band, you pretty much should play at least one track off every album, unless you have an exception like, yeah, if I go see more of an angel, do I want to see uh, hear them play any Elude songs? No, and I prefer they admit something. But theoretically, uh, for most bands, you shouldn't have an album that sucks that goddamn bad. So, yeah, the Cannibal Corpse is the Deicides, the Dismembers. They should play a song, uh, at least one song, off every fucking record. Immolation, same thing. And I know, well, they're getting a lot of albums or whatever. Like The thing is, if you're getting to the point where you can't do it, it's one of two things. Either one, you need to put your goddamn big boy pants on, and you need to play a longer set list. Or two, you got too many goddamn filler albums. That's what it is. So... Pick or choose your goddamn battle. It's not putting out albums. Just tour like your goddamn Repulsion or some shit. Shows only. Or um, put on your big boy pants and fucking play a song off every record. But um, the the best album. Like, what, what do you mean? Why would you play any songs off that? I mean, that, that those guys are just kind of like, I mean, more of an angel at this point, dude. They're, they're, they're almost like the Metallica fucking death metal in the sense of uh, turning their back on it. Like... Those guys, for sure, 100% for sure. You know, I bust some fucking balls on here about guys not being in the metal scene, the death metal scene, traying them. Dude, they're they're just total fucking wanker-ass fucking posers that ain't into this shit no more. Garen fucking teeth, 100% in for a fucking paycheck. Guys like, yeah, Glenn and shit saying he isn't, but he never, in my opinion, kind of never was, to be honest. He's been saying that shit since the 90s. That's kind of just his own shtick. Glenn is the guy, he, he's the... uh the fucking Antichrist, the assault on JC and the death metal scene, and that's his that's his uh his shtick. Not on the not on some, you know, heavy metal headbanger guy. He's that's not his shtick, you know what I mean? So it's kinda it works for them. But talking about other bands, when I'm bringing up some of the older guys, the, the maybes, like the Nurgles and shit, I mean I'd get I guarantee you Nurgles more to metal than fucking Trey House got this. I I literally would bet fucking money on it. So, uh, yeah, it, it, there's just the, the Elude album. Now that they don't play songs off altars, it's just the biggest, like, th there's no doubt. If more of an angel comes to Cleveland, would I, even, I wouldn't even go. Even it's on a Saturday night. Free tickets, J-Dog. I have no interest. I, li I literally have zero interest. So, and I never actually thought that day would fucking come. But, yeah, to me, I see more of an angel on the set list. It's, it's just may as well be some fucking death court bullshit I never heard of. I, I don't even care. Anton Lieberman. Sup, J-Dog? Happy Easter. Laugh out loud. Question for the channel. If you haven't answered it already. How many records or CDs, tapes, digital, whatever, per day do you listen to? Thanks, man. Keep up the good work, Anton. Uh, I would say about on average, by three albums a day on um, digital or whatever. That would just be on YouTube. While I'm at the gym, I don't count that because it's just songs here and there. So I'll admit that. But as far as an album in entirety, play back to back. Um, I would say three for, three for sure is a good number. Sometimes maybe two at the lowest, and sometimes maybe as many as five. Lance Rogers. Justin, have you ever checked out the Morbid Breath in the Hand of the Reaper EP that Thomas put out on Redefining Darkness? Awesome death thrash out of Sweden that brings to mind Incubus slash Spectral Burke. Cheers, Broad Death Lance. I don't recall if I ever listened to that one or not. I mean, we had them in stock, and I seen them when I pulled a bunch, so I seen it. Um, a lot of the Tommy stuff, I didn't check a whole lot of it out because it, to me it was like, oh, it was a lot of, oh, oh, Swedish Death Metal again. Not all of it. There was stuff that I definitely liked, Kill Division for starters, uh, and some other stuff. But a lot of it was just like, oh, this again. You know what I mean? But it was like all quality metal, but it was like, I'll just put on this metal. You know what I mean? It was just like, kind of like the same thing for me. Um, but I can't remember if I specifically listened to uh, Morbid Breath. So that might be, yeah, I just don't remember Jeffrey Bayer, sub bro town. Got a goddamn question for the dog. What are some albums in your collection that us devils would be surprised to hear that you own? 
Also, any chance on getting more sadistic, co more copies of this again? Send it on CD. Cheers, bra bra. Jeff. Uh, the sadistic content, yeah, as long as uh, what's his face? Uh, Iron Pegasus still has some left because I mean that's what we get him from. We trade and we got shit. We stocked that many times. Uh, shit, the last time we got him, we either got fifty or one hundred of them in, and it's already out of stock. Goddamn. Um, cause yeah, those sell very fast. What's up? So it should be. Um, surprise. Uh, I mean, for the most part, I probably I, I, what I said at one point what I said. Oh, that I thought would be surprised. Uh, any of the uh, Cradle of Filth from Midian album, Down. I own all those. So, you know, Midian from the Cradle and Slave EP, Cruelty and the Beast, all that shit. Uh, to me, that's not surprising. But again, with the idiots out there, I just figured it would be surprising. Um, uh, first three Six Feet Unders. Uh, what, four, first four Old Man's Childs. I thought that would be the surprising shit, but I've already said that on this channel. I mean, nothing else coming to surprising. But the funny thing is, is uh, again, because you got to clarify it because it's again, anyone that's looking at it, it's, 15, it's 15 to 19 year olds that they're like, What the fuck is not that? Yeah, I mean, unless again, if you're unless you're just a brutal death metal guy only, if you're in extreme music, most people have those. Some I know some people said like, oh, the 90s, I don't know. I didn't like Dave Newborn again. I'm not saying everybody, but the vast fucking majority. It was just it was just well known fact. Uh, but to me, when I was picking up albums by like, you know, like an ACDC record or an Ozzy album or a Dio record, to me that was more kind of like, what the fuck, you own this? That because I'm like, everybody likes that shit. So I mean, and I do too, but to me, that's more what's that doing in the collection than goddamn. Cruelty of the Beast, because again, like you can go to your goddamn Christian ass fucking eighty five year old grandma, put on Dio Holy Diver, she's minimally gonna think it's okay. You put on Cruelty and the Beast, she's gonna be scared fucking shitless. If she, assuming she hasn't heard any black or death metal yet, even through you playing it, so she never heard it at all because you didn't play anything for her. You put that on, she's gonna be what the fuck is this? Yeah, that's what people should be thinking for goddamn extreme music. Dio, it's not extreme. Give me a fucking break. Again, I like Holy Diver. I think it's a fucking banger. But that to me is more what the fuck when you're looking at a collection of extreme metal music and then you're like, you're scrolling, 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 scrolling. That's, whoa, what the fuck's this doing here? And to be completely honest with you, he probably knows now. But if my dad, for example, was to scroll through my collection, there's some of those. He would say that. I guarantee you, if he was scrolling through my collection, oh, man, what's this shit? Or, or this, God damn, I don't know. Oh, man, this is that screaming demon fucking garbage. And then when he saw like, Rainbow, Rainbow Rising. Oh, shit, this is a good one. Surprised you have that. He, dude, he would totally say that. Surprised you had that. He's not saying, surprised you got cruelty in the beast. He's thinking, shit, this is too tough for my goddamn ears. I can't, I don't like this. So it's just hilarious when people put that shit on, like come over here and poke fun, but they're like, yeah, I love Motorhead. Uh, okay, well, dude, Cradle feels way more extreme than Motorhead. Hate the break until you, brah, brah. So don't come out over here like you listen to tough shit when you listen to Motorhead. Dad likes Motorhead. Give me a fucking break. So, yeah, I would say it's the Motorheads, the Dio's, this, even the Black Sabbaths and shit. That's more what, what the fuck's in your collection. Surprise, that's in there. Over the Damien Borgers, Old Man's Child, Six Feet Under Haunted, shit like that, dude. Six Feet Under Haunted would fucking blow my fucking dad's ear, ear socks out. Oh, man, I don't like this growling ass fucking heavy dude. Head banging fucking demon shit. That's what you fucking say. Put on Holy Diver, though. Oh, this is a good jam. Just telling you. That's just goddamn true fucking story. So that's how it would go down. This goddamn video lying. Only 12 year olds think Sanguizio Bog is cooler than Cannibal Corpse. Yep, yep, yep. And only 12 year olds sit there and fucking talk shit about Dame Eberger, Cradle of Filth, Old Man's Child, Six Feet Under, and then fucking, hell yeah, dude, Lemmy's the man. Fuck yeah, he's the heaviest shit ever. And again, I like Motorhead, but I'm just saying, you, know, you, you like some fucking basically classic rock, bro. Let's see. In the extreme world, in the extreme music world, who gives a fuck? Everybody likes them. So do the goddamn Christians at your church. So yeah, they don't even count. Like Violet, question marks, j Dog. question, how would you feel if Mortician put out a new album and the music was just like previous releases, but the intros were comedy movies and lyrics were about laughable stuff? Mm, I mean, it'd have to be kind of like brutal laughable stuff, otherwise that'd be stupid. Like, what the fuck, this don't, got that, this don't fit the tish bill? It's fucking dumb. But if it was something like, you know, like a movie Snatch or something, when it, uh, talking about feeding people to pigs... To me, that shit was funny. All the Snatch has. To me, after Pulp Fiction, fucking Snatch is the, has the best goddamn uh, quotes of all time for fucking movies. At least for me, Pulp Fiction is number one and Snatch is right behind it. But it's got some quotes that would work for the Tish. Like I said, because it's, it's funny. 
but I mean, he's talking about fucking feeding people the pigs. Um, it would have to be something like that. If it was something for fucking Dumb and Dumber or Ace Ventura, I'd just be like, this is fucking stupid. This ain't got this ain't the goddamn dish. So, Roberto, don't change a goddamn thing. Don't fix what ain't broke, goddamn it. Jenkins, question: Is it just me, or, or are there a lot of canoes showing up on the comments lately? Lately, wasn't there kind of always from fucking day one? Ever since I started talking about posers or through slip, slip mountain titles, um, there's been canoes out the fucking wazoo. But whatever, hey, keep, I, I welcome. Say, just come in and say something. I don't give a shit. You're only helping me out. Even even the fucking haters. You don't. That's why I laugh. If, if they truly are pissed at me or don't like me, or guys make hate videos about me, I'm like, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the best thing you could do if you're trying to fuck someone over or whatever is say nothing. That's the best thing you could do. All I'm looking at is like this is just you're just helping me out. Free advertisement, free everything. There's no such bad. There's no such thing as bad news unless it's your obituary. Goddamn it, that's the way I look at it. So yeah, make a way, say a way, keep it all coming. But yeah, most of these guys, I'm just shaking my fucking head at and just rolling my eyes. Whatever, dude. Definitely a lot of those. Super violent question, J Dogs. Did you hear the new massacred album, Lunatic Massacre? What did you think of it? Uh, I I listened to the one of the albums. Is that do they have two albums? The one with the, like the greenish cover, I think, on uh, YouTube. I was like, yeah, sounds like the Tish. Uh, I liked the demo CD more. Was it Massacred Assembly or whatever? There was two demos on it. I I did prefer that. Spirit of Death Metal Dog question marks just to respond to your applied question on more current measuring sticks for death metal that haven't been around for thirty five. And tour with metalcore festivals and hang with Josta like say, CC. Cannibal Corpse hanging out with Josta. I, uh, shoot me a link to that interview. I haven't seen that one, goddamn. See how much trouble you had? Maybe try Impetuous Ritual. What about him? Pretty fucking boring. Maybe Pissgrave. Uh, Pissgrave's got cool fucking vocals outside of that. It was nothing goddamn fancy. Autopsy music is too true for them to tour with metalcore massacre. Uh, mass, massacre band. What does he say? Massacre? Is he talking. Mascara fucking brands too. Not only yeah, too cool or fucking dude, like they're just not big enough. Piss great. What, what you, they play Cleveland? Was it gonna be like twelve people there? Nobody even knows who the fuck that is. Impetuous ritual. Do they even have a fucking fan base? I mean, a very small one. So you say they're not touring with them because they're too cool. No, they don't got a fucking fan base to bring shit in. CC. They're looking at it as a goddamn business at this point. And to be completely honest with you, I don't fucking blame them one goddamn bit. They've done it all, seen it all. Been around probably before you were born, and toured the entire fucking world. They're not. They're just. They're doing it for a check at this point. So who's going to bring more goddamn asses and seats, butts and buckets? That's the way they're looking at it. It ain't going to be impetuous witch roll. So yeah, they're going to fucking tour with whoever. Now, do I? As from a fan perspective, yeah, it's kind of annoying. I agree, but I get it. I'm, from a non dummy perspective, I get it. But like autopsy, I mean. Yeah, they, 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 they're going to draw people, not CC-wise. Uh, so it's kind of like w w they're going to bring a deathcore band who's fucking bigger than them? No, it's like they might open for the deathcore band at best that they're fucking more eyeballs on them. So it's like, you, it's kind of like a bad analogy of what you're bringing up. You and Brisket, speaking of comeback albums, Dog, did you like the album Descent into Hell by Death Yell? It's okay. I mean, it's more that South American metal that kind of like all to me is just like. A lot of the South American metal and shit like that, I like a handful of it, but that's it. To me, I was like, yeah, you know, if I got Mortar Visions, INRI, B Bloody Vengeance, you know, I'm kind of good to go for the most part. There's just a few others. Um, it wasn't really like the, the uh, subgenre that I wanted a ton of bands uh, from. And that's just me personally. And I know that's some of somebody's uh, favorites subgenre, and it makes sense because mine is. Well, you know what guys it is. Um, so everybody has theirs. That was just mine. I like I like kind of like the classics, and that was it. So other stuff is I would put it on. I'll hear it. I'll listen to them. Like cool, like you know, bands like Blasphemer and shit like that. I'm like, yeah, it's cool, you know. But it's nothing I buy. It was never the stuff that I was overly excited about. Ecker H, Kings of Death Metal for me would be Dismember. They're definitely they're the kings of Sweden for sure. And to say that they're the greatest death metal band of all time, I don't think that's an outlandish statement either. And yes, they smoke, smoke Sanguizio Bog for a goddamn sure. And any of these kiddos that are listening to Sanguizio Bog or 200 Stabbles that haven't heard of this member, yeah, they're just they're just missing out. It's just like you need to go to the goddamn back catalog. That's all. I mean, there's nothing wrong with 
you're checking out of what's in the time because you're just getting into this. And that's what the forefront. When I go back and look at it myself, I kind of did the goddamn same thing without even realizing it. You pick out what's coming out the time when you're first getting in it. Think of it a lot. When I was, you know, 14, 15 and shit like that, what was coming out in 14, 15 around, you know, late 90s, early 2000s? So look at a lot of shit that I like. So does the lights. Cannibal Corpse Vile. Gallery of Suicide. Bloodthirst. Uh, Immolation. Failures for Gods. Nile amongst the catacombs. Mortician, uh, whatever one they're on, Zombie Apocalypse, Chainsaw Dismemberments, and that era, fucking um, Incantation, Dive Off Conquest, Deceased, Supernatural Addiction, Exhumed, Gore Metal. What do all these have in common? I literally picked those up pretty much within the, the, the times when they're new, or they're like Serpents of Light. Might have been out for like two years or something by, by the time I got it. So it was current at the time. The difference between me and these kiddos of today is I went back to the shit that was predated me. For example, did I, did, I eventually, did I go back to possess seven churches? Yeah. Death, Scream, Bloody Gore? Yeah. Massacre demos? Yeah. Merciful Fate, Venom, etc., etc. Yeah. I, you know, I went back to that fucking shit and checked it out. What I'm getting from a lot of these kids is now they're just kind of like either unaware of like the monstrosities and malevolent creations, which is completely completely just asinine to me. If you like, if you like some of this death metal shit, like those classics come before some of these newbies. Sorry, they just do. Again, you can like the newbies too, because again, that's what you heard. This is your time frame, but you, you got to go back to the oldies. You just, you just, it just, you just look fucking stupid. Um, that's the difference. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of the kids do. And then in that case, that's why I, I, uh, I do like that about the, the, the maggot stomp crowd, the Sanguizio box, 200 stab ones, the two mos, the 20 bucks spin crowd. It's getting, um, People into death metal, the current newer bands, the kids. So it's an introduction. That's what the current stuff is. Um, and I'm sure a lot of them do go back to the back catalog. That's the way it should be. But just with some of the comments, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not talking about those guys. I'm ripping on the kiddos that fucking they're bringing shit up, and then they're they're ripping on the yeah, malevolent creation or something. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, like that doesn't even make sense. Like you, you look like a fucking idiot. That's all I'm saying. Like it's just that. So just remember too. Yeah, I've never heard like an ever flowing stream. It's like. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, for a lot of reasons, but uh, objectively speaking, Cannibal Corpse are for sure on top, Rob, bro. Sure are. By the way, Gospel of the Horn story is really tra tragic because they are some of the best black thrash I've ever I've ever heard. They sure fucking are, goddammit. Even when I was 17, I would have been at that show because I love Toxic Holocaust at that age. So why wouldn't I like Gospel? Yep, yep, yep. Well, that's it for the guy below that talked about CC and not joining, but that's a band like Gospel of the Horns, for example. I'm not saying they're like, why are they doing with that core cool shit? Because they're in the same categories of impetuous ritual and fucking piss craving. For the most part, nobody cares about them. You know what I mean? I care about them, but most people fucking don't. So the death core man would be fucking, have to be the headliner, bring on Gospel of the Horns. And if they're this big death core man, it's like, what, what benefit is it to them to bring on Gospel of the Horns? Unless they just so happen to be a big Gospel of the Horns fan, which I highly doubt that's even in their fucking radar, but you never know, right? That'd be the only thing. I just want to bring them out because I'm a huge fucking fan. They're, otherwise, they're not like, of course, they're not going to do that. So it's like, that's another. You just use that band as an example. For you. But it's like I'm, I'm a big gospel fan, so and I know like it's because you like those bands that you brought up. That, that don't mean shit. It's a piss poor fucking comparison to CC, the fucking biggest band, who's actually getting paid. Probably again, I, I'm guessing the, I'm guessing these guys cannibal. And my honest guess is they each make fucking six figures a year. So they ain't dicking around with fucking ham and egg or shit. Why the fuck would they? And I, I wouldn't either if I was in the boat. Hey, Mark Goth, can you do a quick ranking of a cob off the cuff? Uh, Dahmer, number one. Second would be hard for me. Yeah, what would be my fucking second favorite? They're all so unique, but Dahmer would be number one for me. Uh, second favorite, maybe Gloom. I would say Grim. I, well, I like Grim Reality um, more than Gloom, but I'm not going to use it just because it's only uh, well, it's an EP, as opposed to Gloom was a full length. So if I had to pick one or the other, but as far as the sound and everything, I liked Grim Reality better. But let's just go stick with full lengths. 
because I would take it just because there's more songs. Let's go also Dahmer, Gloom, probably Sinister Slaughter then. Probably Murder Metal. And toss up between the last two, Grim Scary Tales or Murder Met or uh, Carnival Killers. I like those pretty much pretty evenly. I see. What bands would you choose for HHB to do a world festival? Summer Slaughter was br brought back to NZ back in uh, 09. And was packed. What do you think of Dio Clishin? Dio Clishin, not really my thing. We stock them. It sells. It was nothing I cared about personally. But if it's uh, hand in hand, Dio Clishin or Gospel of Horns, I'm going with Gospel of Horns every goddamn day of the fucking week. And what bands would I would I choose for HHB to do a world festival? I don't know what the fuck the difference between a world festival. Let's just say a fest. I've kind of already answered that. My, my personal picks, uh, top three, would be Hemorrhage, Destroyer 666, and Pharmacist. Yeah, that would be my top three fucking picks. Comments, questions, you know what the fuck it is. Weather guys, boss, get into my morning. Later, goddammit.